During a nearly 30 minute long inauguration speech Tuesday, now President Joe Biden has declared that Americans must come together in unity, that we must end this uncivil war and move forward together as one nation. Funny, because about two seconds ago, we were all racist Nazi bigots who hate black people and want all the immigrants to die, so not really sure why he wants us to all sit around the campfire together now. But now that the election's over, just like COVID, suddenly we have to pretend none of it ever happened. And 74 million people are supposed to forget the left and the media called them the KKK for four years straight. So here's the deal. I'll just say it loud and clear. The left does not want unity. And to be perfectly honest with you, neither do I. So let's just cut to the chase here, real simple. If you're a leftist who's ready to hold hands and skip through the petunias together now because it's your guy in the Oval Office, you can take your little message of unity and shove it because it's about as authentic as Nancy Pelosi's face. Case in point, Kara Dumaplin runs a baby sleep program. That's all. It's one of the best the money can buy and it's not cheap. In fact, my husband and I personally credit her with helping save our sanity when our son was five months old and waking up every single hour, every single night. But it doesn't matter how good she is, how much work she's put into her program, how many people have benefited from her help, or how many follow her sleep advice on social media. A bunch of leftists this week somehow figured out that Kara and her husband donated a little less than $2,000 to Donald Trump's reelection campaign back in 2019. And that was all it took for them to launch an all out assault to destroy Kara's business and her life. Now liberals are calling for a boycott of her product. Some people have already ripped off her video program and posted it online for free, effectively stealing her work and her income. Things got so bad she had to take down her popular Facebook page where she did nothing but teach parents how to help their babies go to sleep. I'd know, I followed it. She's been inundated with hateful posts calling her a racist a-hole and a fascist, condemning her for helping rip children from their mother's arms at the border, and accusing her of supporting a Nazi. Here's a blue checkmark editor over at Eater on Twitter who openly admits she's ripping pirated PDFs from Kara's program and posting them online which since this broad is apparently dumb enough not to know is a crime. All because like millions of other free Americans, Kara donated some of her hard earned money to the candidate that she simply thought was the best pick. That's all she did. So tell me, is this the unity that Biden was babbling on about yesterday? Is this it? Is this what's supposed to heal us and bring us together? Canceling somebody, harassing them to the point of forcing them off of social media and literally stealing their business? just because they supported somebody you don't like? This is unity? Okay, then let me say this as definitively as I possibly can on the record. I don't want unity with these animals. I have about as much interest in coming together with them as I do in getting a root canal without Novocaine. I don't want unity with people who believe in stealing someone's work and ruining their whole life because they voted differently. And frankly, that's just the tip of the iceberg for why I don't want to come together and sing kumbaya with these grade A shameless hypocrites. I don't want unity with someone who's actually okay with poisoning and dismembering an unborn baby just because they're inconvenient or poor or disabled or the wrong gender. I don't want unity with someone who thinks my son should be brainwashed through government programs into hating his own race or gender, or convinced that he's been born with unfair privilege because his parents had the audacity to get married. I don't want unity with someone who thinks they're entitled to what I've worked hard to earn, or people who think it's fine for liberal victim groups to burn down a city, but that using the wrong pronoun for a trans person is violence. And for that matter, I don't want unity with someone who thinks it's okay to teach eight-year-olds to hate their bodies, then pump them full of artificial hormones. I don't want unity with those who think we should throw open the borders as wide as they'll go, even if that means inviting human smugglers, sex traffickers, drug cartels, and gangs into our country to harm law-abiding citizens and legal immigrants. Or those who think that border security is fascism while at the same time cozying up to communists in China who are literally torturing and murdering people for their ethnicity. I don't want unity with these ideas or the people who subscribe to them. I don't want to shake hands and just agree to disagree on whether it's okay to kill an infant or steal someone's livelihood. There is no agree to disagree on these issues. 
capitalism and socialism cannot simply coexist. The existence of one is predicated on the absence of the other. These two philosophically opposed ideas do not mix. They don't unify. I don't want violence, I want peace. I want to return to civil discourse with respect for free speech, which at this point I'm thinking is pretty unlikely. But I don't want unity. I can't have unity with people who have already decided to hate me, no matter what I say or do, simply because of what I believe, the values I hold, and the person I voted for, who've already deemed that I am a racist because of the color of my skin. I don't want unity with someone who spent the last four years branding me and 74 million other people as Nazis because we don't subscribe to their left-wing groupthink. I don't want unity with these people, and neither does the left. They want conformity. They want you to lockstep with their agenda, and if you don't, they will lie, steal, and cheat to make sure you are scrubbed from the public sphere and that there is nothing left of you or your business, your reputation, and your life. There is no reason to seek unity with someone who hates you that much because God knows they don't want unity with you. And that's your reality check, Joe Biden. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube page, our Facebook, and our Twitter. Stay sane out there.